Hi, in this video, we'll start building our home page of the application. Specifically, we'll start with the pie chart. Let's begin. So before beginning, let's go back to the business requirements document. As you can see here, this is kind of a potential solution for the home page. We have a pie chart, bar chart, and a line area chart. And next page in our business requirements document talks about some of the designer design notes of the visualizations, okay? So again, a good reference point. These are potential solutions. You can choose any color or font you want for your application. So let's go back to our application. As you can see, again, I'm signed into the Power BI um, web app, Power BI service app. I'm in my account. I'll click on my project. And as always, it opens up in the preview mode. So we're gonna get out of preview mode. We're gonna click edit, and it defaults to the home page. So Again, we're going to start with the pie chart. If you look at the visualizations listed here, you can see as I mouse over tells me which of these icons refer to which type of visualization. I'm going to scroll here to pie chart and click pie chart. And again, like any other Microsoft product, I can drag and drop the object. Let me get about this big here. And then now we're going to first build the visualization. Then we're going to um, format the visualization, make them look more professional, okay? So for the pie chart visual, visualization, we need two things. We need the legend and the values. We go to my data elements here, click on collapse, and let's look at um, category for the legend, and then uh, weekly hours viewed for the values. So PowerPoint automatically knows which one of these variables is a category and which one can you measure, hence the weekly hours viewed, okay? Now let's make it look professional. I'm gonna click on the format your visual, visual um, icon, and you can see I have legend, slices, detail labels. So let's start with detail labels, easy one. Detail labels, I wanna position them in the outside, and I'll have the, um, I could do all, all the detail labels, so I have the category or the you know the show genre, um, the number of views, and then um, the percent. And what I'll do with the values here, so I got the detail labels. I'm gonna outside all detail labels. I'll click on the values, and I'll, again I can format. I use the same font that I've been using throughout the application, Trebuchet, and I will go in size 10. We'll say I'll just keep the color. A dark color, dark gray, black, whatever works. Display units. We'll keep it in billions because that's units been we've been we will we have been and we'll be using throughout the whole application. And then I'll change the decimal places here to two. So when it displays the actual value, it's going to do two decimal places. Okay. So now let's scroll back up. So we got the detail labels covered. I'm going to turn the legends off. Okay, the legends off. I'll turn that off. Gives us more room to view the pie chart. Now, one thing I like about Power BI is it's easy to format the colors of the slices. Okay, so I'm going to click on slices, and I can assign a different color to each of the show genres. Okay, let's go to our, our um, reference sheet here, and it says here, uh, well, TV English is this color here. So we'll change the color accordingly. We'll go back. And this will come into play a little bit later on. TV Films English is the following color here. Film TV Non-English. Again, you can choose any color you wish. You don't have to use these colors. But kind of, again, it adds a more professional look and feel to the application. And then finally, we'll do films non-English. Copy, paste. And here we go. Pretty easy to do. And again, you can take some time, decide what colors you want to use for your, your, your visualizations, okay? So we have the slices formatted. We have the data labels formatted. We'll do one more thing. I'm going to click on general. And I'll click on title. And we'll say... Per, we'll give it a title. Right now it says sum of weekly hours viewed by category. Okay, let's do percentage of weekly hours viewed by show 
Chandra, and let's verify that with our business requirements document. Yep, perfect. And we'll put a dash here. And then again, we're going to format this, use the same font we've been using, keep it consistent, and we'll use a color of a blue. We can even make this bold, sticks out. And there we go. Now we have our pie chart visualization. One other thing we can do with this visualization, I'm going to click on it one more time, and I'm going to go here again to formatting. And there is a um, option to have your tool tips on. So when you mouse over the specific slices of the pie chart, it will show data. So we're going to click on tool tips, and we can go to text. We can change this to again the, the same font. We don't the same font we've been always using. Uh, perfect. I'm going to change the label and the value color to white, and I'm going to assign a background here. Let's see if I got it defined. Yep, tooltips background. Perfect. And I'll show you what that does here. I'm going to assign the background to kind of like a green shade. So this time now when I mouse over, as you could see, it, get, it has a, the, the fonts are white and the, um, and the color is green. Okay, just adds a nice look and feel to it, okay? Okay, so that's how you do a pie chart. Thank you for watching this video.